Welcome to Taiji's Kitchen. I'm back in Japan and today I'm at a ski resort. A lot of people don't know this, but Japan is a big skiing country. It even holds the second most ski resort in the whole world. And also ski resort in Japan has some special unique features. So I thought it might be interesting to show you a different side of Japan that you may not know. Then let's get started. To get to the nearest ski resort, it takes a little under two hours. So we left around 6 in the morning. This is a ski resort that our family used to go almost every year, called Danaland, which is located in the mountains of Gifu Prefecture. The best part of this place is that the parking is right next to it. So you can get dressed and ready right by the car. And start skiing right away. Here you can buy the tickets. It costs 5,400 yen, which is about 40 euros and dollars. This is the ticket with the IC chip inside. And I usually put it inside my gloves like this. Supposedly Japan has one of the best snow in the world, known as powder snow, as you see just like this. This ski resort is medium sized for Japan, with 7 ski lifts and about 20 courses of different levels.
After several rounds, it was getting to lunchtime, so we decided to eat at one of the rest areas with restaurant inside. In most of the ski resorts in Japan, they have restaurants like these, typically with ramen noodles or local dishes like these, or curry, which is also a common food. And I ordered some steak donkey. Hi, By the way, you can also rent the skiing or snowboarding equipment at almost all the ski resorts in Japan. You can of course rent the skiing wear, gloves or goggles. And of course you can buy them as well. And many of the ski resorts also sell some snacks and souvenirs. Here they have some local foods and also local sake. These are some souvenirs made from some local ingredients. Here's also another restaurant with different menu. And most ski resorts also have ski or snowboarding schools for the beginners who never skied before. By the way, Japan has quite a long history of skiing, over 100 years. It was introduced by Theodor Lerch, a major general of Austro-Hungarian Empire. Since then, skiing has been the biggest winter sport in Japan. Many schools even have skiing trips or skiing even as a sport subject. And also there are buses to these ski resorts leaving from the major cities like Tokyo, Osaka, or Nagoya as one day trip or with overnight stays. So if you plan to visit Japan in the winter, you may want to try skiing and enjoy these powder snow. These gondola side lifts are also common in many ski resorts in Japan where you can relax in closed spaces. Now it's time to pack up and go home. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.